Hi, William with WMD here to give a quick demo of the Triple Bipolar VCA as an expansion for the PDO and as a standalone unit. The Triple Bipolar VCA consists of three identical VCA sections, each with the ability to amplify your signal normally with a positive input, and with negative control voltage, it will invert your signal. Each section of the Triple Bipolar VCA is identical, consisting of two inputs, control voltage input and bipolar attenuator, VCA output, and CV bias. The CV input runs through this bipolar attenuator that gives you zero output when centered, clockwise for normal operation, counterclockwise for inverted response to your control voltage. Plus N is the primary input. Its signal is routed to the minus N through an inverter. So when you have a positive control voltage, you get the signal on the plus N jack. When you have a negative control voltage, you get the signal on the minus N jack. If nothing's plugged into minus N, you get the inverted signal of plus N, thus bipolar attenuator. If you plug in a separate signal to minus N, you can mix between the two signals, but with a dead center, which is very useful for controlling the amount of modulation between two sources. The CV input has a bipolar attenuator that gives you zero signal when centered, clockwise for normal operation, counterclockwise for inverted response to control voltage. This LED will show the output strength of the signal, green for positive, red for negative. At the very top of the triple bipolar VCA, there's a mix output jack combining outputs 1, 2, and 3. The ribbon cables in the back normal the triple bipolar VCA to the phase displacement oscillator as follows. Outputs from the phase displacement oscillator go to the positive inputs on each channel of the triple bipolar VCA as such. 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 3 to 3. Now the outputs of the triple bipolar VCA each go to the next channel's phase input on the phase displacement oscillator. This normaling setup allows for each PDO channel to run through a VCA with separate CV control acting as a static or dynamic wave folder for creating very dramatic FM type timbers. This is the triple bipolar VCA with channel 1 normaled into here with a bump wave and just showing bias controlling the output. Positive gives you the proper bump wave. Negative gives you an inverted bump wave. This patch has output 2 going to the oscilloscope using the triple bipolar VCA normaled to phase input 1 as a wave folder. Both are sine inputs. And you control the overall amount. Changing the waveform, going in to triangle. Using a simple envelope plugged into the CV input, you can control the amount of wave folding just by this CV attenuator. This is using the triple bipolar VCA in a unipolar mode. Rotating this the opposite direction and adding a little more power to the envelope gives bipolar. Using a unipolar envelope, we're getting between sine wave and modulated sine wave output. Using the bias control, you can turn a unipolar envelope into a bipolar envelope, giving you two lesser extremes of the modulation. This is a patch using a bipolar LFO to give you top and bottom side wave folding. 
taking an additional signal and plugging it into the minus input gives you wave folding through the two separate sides. This patch takes two inputs, minus and plus, from the gamma wave source using an envelope signal to ramp up between them. This is wave folding a sine wave. This is a patch using an envelope running the CV, the gamma wave running the modulation, and listening to output 2. This is a patch using the quad anti-aliasing filter as a feedback input. See, on channel 3, the output is going into the positive input on the triple bipolar VCA. This envelope is being controlled by the multi-mode envelope. And we're listening to the output 3. That's it. <laughs> The feedback causes increased resonance. This is a patch using the triple bipolar VCA by itself, not connected to the PDO. Um, what it is doing is taking a PDO signal, a sawtooth wave, running it into the Hadron Collider and out. The triple bipolar VCA has two peg envelopes. One controls the CV, slow. The other controls is going into the 
positive input and it's a faster envelope. That's modulating the frequency of the filter. Turning this up. You can hear the direction changing as the polarity of the control voltage changes. Additionally, you could plug something into the minus input, and it will fade between the two. What's plugged in there now is a maths fast envelope. This can be used to get to very complex modulations. To assemble your triple bipolar VCA to the phase displacement oscillator and quad anti-aliasing filter if you have one, first flip them around and in opposite order. You will see three jumper sockets here that need to be removed. Using the short 6-pin to 6-pin cable, red stripe up, attached to the lower pin header on the PDO, and the lower pin header on the triple bipolar VCA. Using this triple cable, attached to the upper pin header, red stripe up, and upper pin header. If you don't have a quad anti-aliasing filter, fold this back and out of the way. If you do, plug a red stripe up to the QAAF like that. Next, attach your power cables with red stripe down, red stripe down, and red stripe to the right hand side. On yours, it will be blue and very well marked instead of my prototype. Then flip around. They're in the proper order. Plug the cables into the rack, screw it in, and you're good to go.